technically when you purchase an NFT, you own a token. Um, taking a step back, what NFT stands for, it stands for non-fungible token. Yeah. So giving a comparison to, let's say, cryptocurrencies which are fungible, like Bitcoin. My, um, my Bitcoin and your Bitcoin, you don't really care um, which particular token it is. It's still representing one Bitcoin. Whereas for NFTs, each NFT represents a unique um, address. So an NFT could represent a piece of art, it could represent a photo, a video, a cup. And that's what you own, you own the ownership of that token. But whether you actually own the underlying copyright, this is something really people should look at. Um, you really need to look at the terms and conditions of that particular NFT that you bought. Okay. So let's say for Board Ape, one of the most famous um, NFT collections. Actually, by the TNCs of Board Ape states that when you hold the NFT, you own the underlying copyright. This is actually quite rare, I have to say, for other NFTs. So for, let's say, another one, um, CryptoPunk. Um, for Clonex, let's say Clonex. Clonex is owned by a creative artifact, and which is now part of Nike Group. Mm -hmm. So when you own a Clonex, you usually you would get a license, a personal license to use the actual graphic oh, okay. and to cre um, create der derivative works, basically modify that image um, for personal use. And there's a lim limited license for commercial usage, but the copyright retains with um, the creators of Clonex. Uh, very interesting. But then what if it what if it wasn't properly you know written? What if there isn't, you know, really anything that that explicitly say, you know, who owns the copyright of it, who have any yeah. sort of business personal use? Um, obviously, then there could be a legal dispute as to who owns the copyright. But I think in the, in my view, in the absence of any terms and conditions, the copyright would likely reside with the original creator and would not have been passed to the NFT holder. Who goes? Yeah, it's the ownership, right? I mean. People, I mean, one thing you raised is quite good. People, where people mention, oh, but I could just right click and save your JPEG. Yeah. And why not to pay like thousands or like tens of thousands of dollars for it? Yeah. It's the ownership. Yeah. So, what if you just save it? You have a copy of that artwork. Mm -hmm. But you can't, you can't tell people, oh, I own this artwork. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, there is value in pride of saying you own it. Right. That's for just from a um, cosmetic perspective, but mm -hmm. obviously with a lot of NFTs mm -hmm. nowadays, there's actually utility. So mm -hmm. the creators would give additional benefits to the holder of the NFT, which if you just copied the JPEG, you you don't get that right. 